There are hundreds of small towns in Brazil with a few things in common. A little town square, few streets, and communities where every dweller knows one another. In Mariana, a San Marco iron ore tailings dam burst on November 5th, 2015. With no contingency plan in place and not even a warning system, a river of mud washed the village of Bento Rodriguez out of existence with 19 casualties. The mudslide destroyed everything in its 600 kilometers path towards the ocean in the worst environmental disaster in Brazil's history. When I came home, I saw there was nothing left. Everything I had was carried by the mud. All I had was the clothes they'd given me. I came running and I was already crying. I saw everything had been destroyed and I said, my people, my people are dead, my people are dead. But when I got up there crying, thank God they were all there. We are all desperate, son. Everyone screaming and crying, mother screaming, my boy, my boy, you got it. Yeah, I can't even describe it. Only those who'd seen it could tell you about it. The residents of the village of Bento Rodriguez are now living a situation that is emotionally similar to that experienced by war refugees. They had to flee their homes before imminent danger, leaving all their belongings behind. But here, it's actually worse, because they know they won't ever return to their homes. There is no hope here. Only memories. There were no bad streets in the village. The high street was Oxford. Everything else was cobblestone. But we never worried one bit about letting the kids play outside. Not ever. The kids were always playing football, hide and go seek. They would ride their bikes, dodgeball. Even I play dodgeball with them sometimes. To me, Bento Rodriguez was the best place in the world. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> My street was cobblestone, and we had a meeting corner where we all hang out. We'd always be there. Every afternoon, all these women would get together and chat and play cards. <laughs> We'd bring big chairs and a mat and chat and play cards in the afternoons. Our afternoons were great. There was always a nice breeze on our faces. This was our house, our home. Every Saturday, we would get our guitars and play. On the porch? Yes, on our porch, this very porch. And now, we are going to take a trip down memory lane. Meu amor, lhe peço se está meu vinho Aonde estiver, mando meu recado Forte novamente para os braços meus Pois meu coração está apaixonado When we had a birth, the whole village would come to visit the newborn. If someone died, even more people came to pay their respects, because the children would go too. Weddings, births and deaths, the whole village would be there to support you. We were a very tiny community, everyone always there for everyone else. We shared everything. Além do rio azul, as ruas são de ouro e de cristais. Ali tudo é vida, 
Ali tudo é paz, morte e choro Nunca mais Tristeza e dor Nunca mais Morte e choro Nunca mais The school was lovely. The building was very colorful. We had classes on Wednesday and on Thursday the tragedy. And it was all gone. Yeah, I had three animals, two dogs, and Belinha and her daughter Nina. I had lost all hope of finding them since our house was destroyed. And then some 20 days later, I decided to go back and look for them, the corner of the area so no one could go there. But I managed to sneak in. You know? And when I was about 300 meters from where my house used to be, I saw our fridge and wardrobe of ours. And my son was with me and we both cried. And then I saw something moving under the, the roof tiles and it was Nina. And we called her and she came to us. In that moment, we forgot everything else. And I said, let's grab her and get out of here. I don't care about looking for anything else. Let's go before someone finds us here. And everyone was so happy because we lost everything, but, but a dog is part of our lives. <laughs> the weekends were one of my favorite things. I would take the kids to swim in Aqua Santa. It was very deep. The boys would somersault into the water. I would jump in too, but I didn't do any somersaults. My weight wouldn't allow me to. But I would take rubber rings made out of tires in its tubings. And we would play in the water. We'd try to swim through the hole in the middle. I couldn't. I wouldn't fit. It was my dream to spend the rest of my life there, to see my kids grow up there. It seems like a distant dream that's got nothing to do with reality. Even now, when I go to sleep, I, I ask God, why did this happen? It's a question without answer. as a sign of respect for the life that existed here, as a sign of respect for those who died here, and as a sign of respect for Brazil, it is of vital importance to build a memorial for Mariana so that this tragedy is never forgotten nor repeated. <laughs> 